6-2. He will have some hope, I'm guessing, Stephen? Yeah, 7-1, he had no chance. 6-2, he's got a small squeak. A smidgen. Yeah. A smidgen. Uh, Alan, once again, like the first mini-session, 3-1 to Judd Trump, 3-1 again to Judd Trump, mm. and a deserved lead. He's, he's been the better player all round. Mm. He has. He's, he's had marginal run of the ball now and again, you know, but he, he's able to capitalise on it, you know, as we'll see. I, I think the, the difference is two things. The fluency that he's got in his cue ball is far superior, you mm. know, over the piece. Jan, when he gets in, he's making the odd break here and there, but he keeps having to chase the game and it's putting pressure on all yeah. departments of his game. Yeah. Well, let's have a look at the statistics for the uh, match thus far. And we spoke about the fact that Judd Trump in the early part wasn't operating at the normal levels, but at least he's improved mm. that session. Or in that session, he's improved those statistics. Yeah, well, I mean, when he gets in, you just you, you can't keep Judd out forever. I mean, I know the, the first two or three frames are a bit scrappy and he didn't really get into a rhythm, but it, it's just so good. You, you can't continue to keep him out. And, and eventually Eventually, the, the class told, and and it's. I mean, you would think at six two, he's, he's, he's broke the back of this match. Um, Jan Bengtao has to come out and do something pretty special tonight. Alan, let's move and have a look at the best of the last four frames. Yeah, I mean, obviously three one three one. I actually did think this rolled off a touch. To I thought that was a little bit unfortunate there. So small things that he, he points his cue that maybe suggests that it did. Mm. Uh, so small things have been going against him, but again, Judd when he gets in with his chances, he's a wee bit more creative. You see here a little, that's a little touch shot, a little mm. shot of class. It's not clumping through the, the, the cue ball or anything with pace. It's all, the strokes, the, the strokes it in it. Neil made a good point as the beginning of the week. Jan tends to hit at the ball, not through it. And, and when you see mm. Judd, that little touch here, he's, he's got it all really. And uh, he's bossing every department. Yeah. I, uh, I think again here a little, you know, simple little safety shot, but it's getting a tight cue ball is the difference. I think this was frame ball, so he was able to just uh, open the shoulders in that one. And the frame was his, 4-1, 5-1, mm -hmm. and uh, he's got all the momentum. And Jan has not really got the pace of play to hurt Judd the way things have been going. He's got to try and step it up tonight. Mm -hmm. There's two things obviously need to happen. Judd's got to drop a couple of levels and Jan's got to raise one. Uh, just looking at the closing stages of the session, mm. uh, Judd Trump extending his lead to 6-1 here, and then we spoke about that importance of that final frame. Yeah, yeah, very important, and, and obviously um, Judd was in first uh, in the final frame. It could well have been 7-1, um, but it went in off, uh, putting a pink to the middle. Um, and yeah, all credit to Jan Bingtao, you know, 6-1 down, and then you know the, the break he made was just showed great character and great. Com he, look, he always looks composed at the table. He never looks panicked. Jan Bingtao never rushes anything. Mm. Um, but he just got, if I was to say anything, just you know, a little bit more aggressive with his, you know, with his cueing, with his, some of his shot choices. This, here, this is enough. And, you know, if this works out, it's 7-1 it's if he gets a cue ball back down the table. Yeah, it shows good temperament knocking this long red in, doesn't he? Mm, it's a beautiful shot. Yeah, it's a good shot to play. You know, he, he gave the pocket every chance, not, not playing it with pace. So he's showing good temperament. But again, um, there's the previous meetings. Obviously, he's only won two today. Uh, More so than he's, he's ever done. He's yeah, done with all his <laughs> yeah, well, he's, accounts, you know, yeah. he's making small progress, but really, Judd has, has done, I would say, nine tenths of the job this afternoon. What happens now for Yan Bing Tao? I mean, what sort of uh, routine will he go through between now and this evening? Um, Married to basically go, go back to the hotel and just chill out and completely try and get away from the snooker. I mean, knowing mm. Yanni might be on the practice table, yeah. he, just, he, never, he just seems to live on it. Um, yeah. Judd, I think, will just go back to his hotel room, chill out and relax. And you guys have spoken about the way he goes around the table. No matter what the position is in the frame, mm. he still conducts himself with the exact same routine. Even when the frame's wrapped up, you saw in the last, se last yeah. frame of the session, yeah. he was still, when the frame's well and truly won, he's still going at the same pace. He, he goes through the same routine, he gives every shot 100%. You know, at the end there, you think you'd just be throwing the cue at some some yeah. shots, but it gives everything a chance. We really want to make the century, obviously, at the end, yeah. which would have been a nice way for him yeah. to finish. And sorry, I was going to say normal players, which Judd isn't one of them, six one up. You lose the last one with a, a mistake. You'd think oh, mm. that, that might eat at me a little in the, in the next couple of hours, but not Judd. You know, he's in such a good place right now. He'll, You'll be thinking, oh, that's fine, I'll win three of the next four anyway. And You've kind of yeah, answered the question next I was, oh, was going to ask about, because I was going to say, Stephen Maguire obviously turned around a 3-0 deficit to 5-3. Yeah. Any chance of Yan Bing Tao doing something similar and getting back into it? Well, I mean, 
if he come out and do play you know, the way he started against Sean Murphy last, last night, for example, yeah. if, he, if he plays like that and, he, he, and just no miss snooker, basically, um, he can get back into the match, but I can't see it. Stephen made a good point last night, we were chatting, that about Sean Murphy's demeanour. You've got to come out and show the guy something mm -hmm. with your pace or with... Just bodily, just showing him something yeah. different than, than that kind of sedate pace of, that Jan's mm -hmm. got. Stephen Maguire can do that. Yeah. Whether Jan's got it, I don't know. I still remember when Stephen said Judd Trump's going to come out against Michael Hull in his first match of the tournament. He said, he's got to show them who the boss is, mm -hmm. and he's doing that. Yep. Uh, let's just remind you that, of course, we are back on air at 6.45 for the conclusion of the Coral Players' Championship.